We've reached our six month mark for the insurance, so we were meant to have finished spam and sent updates. In the UK, we've had three lockdowns. Obviously, coronavirus has hit. Um, the van was at Joe's parents to start with, so we haven't finished it, but we wanted to give you an update of where we are at the minute. So one of the first things we had to do um, when we first got Nikki was to actually repair some of the the rust patches. Uh, there's quite a few. It's pretty common with vans, um, but that's one of the first things we did was to clean up all the rust patches. Secondly, we fitted three windows in the van. We've got this one here on the side, uh, which has a sliding window, and then we fitted two on the back for pure panoramic views. Thirdly, we fitted these side flares to make the van wider so that we can sleep sideways. The flare isn't finished yet, we have to wrap it and eventually our intention is to wrap the entire van. Next, we installed the roof rack and on that we put two massive solar panels and also the roof vent. The intention originally was to use part of it as well for a, um, a bit of a sun deck somewhere that we could sit if we wanted to. We haven't quite got as much space as we wanted but we do have this little bit at the front here which will be perfect. A drink. Next is insulation on the floor. So we did this by using some buttons and some PIR board. Obviously covered it over with tape to create a safe barrier. And then finally we used this vinyl peel and stick flooring, which is a grey wood effect. After the floor and removing the original bulkhead, we created this one from scratch using hardboard and ply uh, and a bit of insulation. We've kept this window in there because we like to be able to see through the van but eventually we're going to put some perspex in it so we don't let any additional hot or cold air into the van and we've also made space for this above cab storage area. The next challenge was to frame the flares. They've taken the van from like roughly 176cm wide to 190cm wide which means that we can fit the double bed sideways and a 6 foot 2 person can fit inside the van. We've also fitted our 12 volt system, powered by solar panels as Fiona mentioned earlier. We've got a charge controller, our breakers, our fuse box, three lithium batteries here, all of our cabling in um, for the water pump and water tank. Uh, and then we've also got our, our space for the inverter and all of our cables for the 240 volt. Next we've built our base for our platform area, which also houses our fresh water tank uh, and our plumbing. This will be the next big phase of our build as this will be the floor level for the sleeping and dining area. We've also completed 90% of the plumbing. It's pretty straightforward. We've also got the fresh water tank, stopcock, filter, pump, accumulator, hot and cold water pipe which run to the tap via a hot water tank. In here we're also going to be housing the wastewater. That's currently in the garage waiting for connection. We finished the framing for the kitchen. As you can see, we've got an L-shaped kitchen here. In the bottom we're going to house our fridge and then up here we're going to house any combi oven, toaster, anything like that. Up here we'll have a um, gas hob. Originally we wanted the induction but change it to gas for ease. Um, then on this side we're going to have our sink and tap, obviously. We've wrapped the worktops in a cement look finish, they just need installing and then obviously the next stage would be to, um, to sort out the door fronts. We've finished the look off with some peel and stick vinyl tiles. These are really easy to install and gives it a really nice finish to just wipe down any oil or water spills. We installed this cladding here which has given us a finish that we're really really pleased with on the ceiling. We picked this up just from B&Q, I think it was about £16 a pack. Um, it's been really easy to cut, it just slots into each other and we need to fill it in properly, sand it down and paint it. But overall we're really pleased with how it looks. Although this has taken longer than the six months we originally planned, we are actually approaching the end of our build. We're pretty pleased with the results so far, but there has been a lot to learn. We're excited to be able to show you the next part of our build and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have some more how-to videos and we'll obviously be taking you along for our adventure. 
Thanks for joining us, and if there are any elements you'd like to see a more detailed video on, please let us know in the comments.